At the beginning of 2020, the world was paralysed by a pandemic of unprecedented proportions, COVID-19. Simultaneously, a related virus wreaked havoc on the cognitive functions of people everywhere, resulting in an increase in behaviours that many would consider deranged. Scientists labelled the phenomenon Dickhead 19. We still don't really understand how the virus was transmitted from dickhead to dickhead, but we think it started at a dickhead market. Probably Woolies. Yeah, when we first saw a rush on toilet paper, we were alarmed. Unfortunately, as supplies dwindled, tensions rose. And before long, people were openly fighting for the last roll of Quilton. The footage of customers fighting over toilet paper is very sad. But ultimately, it is refreshing to see a video from Australia going viral that isn't some guy on a bus going off about immigrants. Scientists believe someone first contracts the disease by reading about coronavirus. The virus then travels to this part of the brain, the dickhead cortex. Then the carrier goes to the supermarket to buy large amounts of toilet paper, spreading the virus to others. Some may even talk about an impending toilet paper shortage to other customers. We call these people super dickheads. From the start, I was always concerned about certain dickhead hotspots. In those early days of Dickhead 19, I dreaded looking at the data. The curve was every dickhead epidemiologist's worst nightmare. We were only being outpaced by America, and that place is full of dickheads. But luckily, as you can see in Australia, we have managed to flatten the scroat. The most worrying thing about Dickhead 19 is asymptomatic dickheads. These are people who might not outwardly seem like a dickhead, but in actual fact, they've got a rumpus room full of bog roll. I mean, for all I know, I could have contracted Dickhead 19. Experts remain cautious, with some warning that a second wave of Dickhead 19 is imminent. Guys, there is actually a vaccine against Dickhead 19, but sadly we've discovered that most dickheads are anti-vaxxers, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're fucked. <laughs>